follows me to vote for me because that's uh, how people got to win and it's good because uh, people came through so thank you very much for coming through whichever camera I'm talking to <laughs> <laughs> at times it's always very hard like when somebody wins and, and as how the contest started like, well, now maybe what can you tell the people you are contesting with um, I was contesting uh, against uh, Duncan Stack he's a young tech content creator and uh, Roy Kanye all uh, content creators in, t- in the tech space that I have watched their content. And definitely I know my work is cut out for me to make sure, you know, I secure this for the third year. If I get it the third year, I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to it. So the third year, I'm not completely. Uh, but no, if it's for the third year, me am not going to Oh. Cook, uh, to uh, cook, compete then, uh, so like that you leave it for the rest. yes exactly I leave it for the rest okay. exactly. probably how is it like working in a tech company and probably someone will want to know how did it start uh, immediately after campus how has it been what is the journey like so I don't exactly work for a tech company I just uh, create content around tech I work with a tech blog it's called techbiz.com um, I have a passion for tech I'm majorly a lifestyle and family content creator, but because I have a passion in tech, I found myself skewing towards creating content that is tech related. And the idea is to just make tech as uh, easy to consume as possible. What would you as vitu anafaku fanya wasi hakiwe my Instagram zao? You know, that's, that's been happening, you know, quite often. And uh, just having conversations for people to understand tech is ever evolving and uh, we can we all enjoy tech every single day in as much as we don't think about it this is tech that that is tech you know we have tech around us every single day now we just need to understand how to interact with it uh-huh. yes. maybe many people don't always believe that these awards are true how, how can you confirm that uh, this one is very true <laughs> I mean, Mrs. Janunu wa kitu yote, sijatumia pesa, mimi niko na hii. Unless nikivunja hii, niwaambia wani replace Sio tu nitanunua award ya next year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And probably you know you are in a tech company. Uh, a lot has been going on in terms of phone. Watu wamekuwa wakipata iPhone phone, then yet for refurbish. How can someone know their phone is no is new new? It's as simple as this. <laughs> if you are going to buy a new phone, um it's there's so many things you would need to do the best advice would be one go to a reputable supplier and distributor there are those who will claim to be reputable suppliers and distributors so second thing is go with somebody who knows some a thing or two about the kind of phone that you're going to buy if you do not know and an am too that is what is important. You see, especially if you're going to spend a lot of money. Of course, people don't make effort to, to scam you with cheap phones. They will scam you with expensive phones by giving you a cheap one. Yeah, so go with somebody who understands it. Because if I start telling you what you need to do, because if you realize like whatever was uh, shared, Uoni mtu anajua Kenya alikuwa kitafuta. Unaona hako na software, na connect kwa computer, na tafuta vitu specific. That's not available to the average consumer. The average consumer just needs to... Unajua ule mse mwenye anajua gaizi vitu? Ongea na ee. Mwambie tuende. As simple as that, yeah. Uh, we all know that uh, some few months ago you were the newest dad in town. Tulena Pale, your lovely wife Ali give birth. And uh, unfortunately, Ali give birth kwa gari. Maybe what you are maybe you guys are not prepared. What can you say about that? What do you mean, unfortunately? It was the best thing to ever happen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was amazing. I mean, it was, we were ready. But you see, you can never be ready. Sure. We were ready, but you can never be ready. Because I was somewhere working, she was at home, she was chilling. Then it, it was a difference of just 30 minutes. That's it. So, I was at home, I was at home, I an amazing, beautiful boy that is just making our lives as grand as it can be. So there's nothing unfortunate about it. If anything, it makes for a very good story. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yes. How is it dealing with a newborn, sleepless night? I mean, it's the third time. Yeah. I have three boys. So you can experience I mean, I try what I can. I can say that I am as active as uh, I was with the firstborn. 
with the first born I was not I was not I had not started a business. I was working for somebody so ni ni kuitisha tu off. Mhm. Hii hapa kuna off bwana. Mimi nikiitisha off watu watalala nja wale ambao nimeemploy. So we just try and balance uh, what I can do I do. What I can't do I just let go. Thank you so much. Thank you for talking to us. Sure. And we appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Congratulations. And congratulations. Thank you.